So this is one of our most requested video tutorials. So today I'm going to show you how to build this castle. Now, this castle is really big. It takes about actually over 1200 planks. So if you don't have that many, that's okay. You can either focus on just a certain section or build the front of the castle, or you can adapt the design to work with however many planks you have. If you would like to use a template for the base of the first layer of planks, there is a link in the description. So you can download that and print that out and follow along with me with that template. If you want some more step-by-step -step instructions, we also have a PDF download in the description or on our website. I'm gonna be working on this uh, castle in different sections. So we'll, for example, do the turrets and then do the side walls and the back and the front. So um, if you're jumping into a certain section that you're interested in, we have the timetables in the description below as well. You will need a big space, probably about uh, a little bigger than three feet by three feet. Go ahead and grab your planks and an open space and let's get started. So I printed out the template so you can see what it looks like. Um, and if you look and see that there are some arrows on the templates, that's where I tape the ends together so they're in the right alignment. And um, the large turrets, you'll want two of those, two side walls, two of the small turrets, and then the back wall and the front wall. So the two large turrets in the back wall are the ones that are closest to me. And then the small turrets and the front wall are the ones that are closest to the screen. So I'm just putting a piece of tape um, along the sides that are connecting so they just stay together. And you can trim the sides of the template so you don't even see the, the excess paper. Um, once you're done building, then it'll just be under the structure that you built. So it'll have a more crisp look. You could also trim it so the edges of the paper don't overlap onto the other templates, but I can see underneath um, those, so it's mostly just to get a basic idea of where the planks go. And you want to make sure that you don't overlap um, the plank lines with another template because you will be placing planks on those lines and you don't want to have to shift things once you're done. So that's the full layout of the castle. I'm going to start with the large turret first. So this one takes eight planks, so an octagon shape, um, octagonal shape, and I'm just laying those on their edge and lining them up as best as I can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then from that, then you're gonna put um, another layer and put those over the edges of the other ones, as you can see that I'm doing. The large turret takes 252 planks to build if you're building it exactly like mine. And I'm building this up 15 layers high. This next section is a little more challenging. So if you're having trouble setting planks or if you have difficulty setting planks straight up on their edge, um, you feel free to just build several layers of the same uh, original pattern that we had before. So this, this layer isn't necessary, but if you wanted to add some openings to your, um, to your turret, then this is where we're going to do that. Once I'm done going all the way around and I've placed one layer flat on top of those, I'm going to add another layer just to, again, add some extra stability to, to that section. Okay, so now I'm gonna place a plank on its end and I wanna angle it just a little bit to add some more stability as I build around. And then from there, I'm going to add seven planks on their end next to each other um, to make it to the next window opening. And once I've placed the seven planks on their end, then I'm going to take another plank and angle it in and that will be the side of the next opening. 
and then leaving a little bit of a gap, I'm going to put another plank there. And then to secure the ones that we put on end, I'm going to place uh, some planks flat just to help secure those as I continue around the circle. There's less risk of it falling um, at this point. So now I'm gonna, just gonna go over to the other side to show you so I don't have to reach over uh, the planks that I've already placed. So it's gonna be seven upright planks going around until you reach the next opening. You can also add more openings if you want or less, it's completely up to you. Once I'm done going all the way around and I've placed one layer flat on top of those, I'm going to add another layer just to, again, add some extra stability to, to that section. All right, now I'm gonna start expanding the top of the tower. So I am adding the same amount of planks, eight planks, but I'm coming out a little bit with them uh, for this next layer. So this is the third layer that is flat. So you'll wanna be coming out with about seven layers of planks. It's okay if you wanna do less layers than that. Um, it just won't be coming expanding out as much as mine, but that's up to you. Once you've placed those seven layers, now I'm going to make a layer with the planks on their edge. So you'll have a little bit of space so it looks like that castle element. And I'm going to put three layers of these planks on their sides. And now the large turret is complete. Let's move on to the back wall. So with that template, I am going to lay the planks about where um, each of the spaces are for the designated planks. And the planks are overlapping to add some extra stability and um, just security as we're building. The next section, I'm going to lay flat planks and you want to overlap. You want to set those where the planks overlap and then the ones on the end, you can just um, lay wherever just so it can hold the next plank. Now I'm going to put the next layer on and it's going to go right above the plank that you placed. So the pattern stays the same and I'm going to be building nine layers. This back wall takes about 214 planks. Once you've reached your ninth layer, lay um, planks along on flat, touching each other all the way across. I have room for 20. Uh, I decided not to put that extra one. Um, you can move them with however much space you have. And I use two planks to straighten out the edges of the platform. Now I'm going to place four planks on their side to create the edge of the walkway. Now I'm placing planks on their end at the end of those uh, railings and then where the other planks meet end to end I'm also putting um, planks on their end there and to secure those planks I'm putting one on top of each one of those so they don't topple as I'm building now I'm taking two planks and holding them together pinching them and I place them right on top of those planks and this is so I can get right in the middle of the planks that are flat as we create the roof and from there I'm adding two planks on each side of those so you'll have a total of four planks for the first layer next I'm taking one plank and putting them right in the middle as well and then putting two on each side of that one 
So then the next layer will be three. And you can probably guess that the next layer will be two and then one. I'm building the second large turret now. So this is the exact same design as the first one. So you can either go back in the timetable to look at that because I'm gonna uh, speed through and magically build this one. Ta-da! The side wall has the same template as the back wall, except it only has four planks going across rather than five. So it's a little bit shorter but it will have nine layers going up as well. So you're laying the ones on their sides and then some flat ones overlapping where the planks on their sides overlap. And again, if you don't have as many planks as I do, you can either skip building um, the walls this large, you can build them smaller I didn't realize my hair was in the way as I was building, um, but you get the idea. And then once you get to the ninth layer and you put the platform on, then to make the little spires, actually those aren't called spires, those are called, uh, I believe the word is crenellation. I'm taking three planks and then one on top and adding about seven of those on top of that flat platform. So you'll see that in just a second. And there's the sidewall complete. And each sidewall takes about 155 planks. Using that same sidewall design, we're going to add that to the other side. All right, I'm now gonna build the small turret. And each of the small turrets takes 150 planks. And just like the large turret, I'm making this shape, except this is six sides. Um, so it's a, a hexagon and I am going to add 14 layers of the planks on their side. Once you finish those layers, then we're going to lay some flat. Um, these, this is the layers that are starting to go out, but the first two flat layers, I'm going to make sure the planks are touching each other, um, just so they have the best uh, stability on top of that first layer. Sorry, my hand is in the way most of the time, but you get the idea. Um, as we add each layer, you want to move the planks out just a little bit to uh, expand that top. Once you've counted those layers, which I've done, you're going to next place your three layers of planks on their sides. And I just realized I only put two layers on the top of that one, but you can um, build three if you want, or just two. The next section I'm going to build is the front. So taking those planks, I'm going to place two um, on their sides and then three flat. And if you're not using the template, that's okay. You just wanna make sure you have space between those two sides that will fit four planks um, in that space for the drawbridge and just the spacing of the um, entryway. All right, working on that one side, I'm going to place one plank in a little bit and then the other plank lining right up to the side and then adding another layer and I'm going to build four layers that way. Now that I've done that, I'm going to place three planks on their ends right on top of the ones that are flat. And the, the third plank that you lay, you wanna have three planks together. So that will be a stronger column. And then I'll go ahead and lay um, another layer, two flat planks on top there. And then I'm gonna do the front with three planks and then three together for that third one. For the colonnade that goes on top of those planks, I'm gonna show you an easy way to create that. So you wanna have two planks uh, perpendicular to hold up the two on top 
and then you're going to add two more planks there and add three flat on top of that. And then to add the weight, I apologize for the fuzziness, but I'm adding five planks to create um, the weight that will hold those three planks. So now I'm going to take that whole section and place that right on top of the planks that have three lined up. And you can carefully shift that just to make sure it's lining up with the correct planks. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Once you've carefully adjusted those, you can build up the layers until they reach the, um, the flat ones from the colonnade. And then you will continue that front wall up just like um, the side wall and the back wall, except instead of overlapping the planks, you'll just line them up straight. And you'll build that up four more layers. And then ending with a flat platform with the planks laying side by side, and then adding those um, crenellations. You can probably fit nine crenellations. And there we have the front wall. The last thing we need to do is build one more small turret. So that looks just like the other one on the other side. You can also add a drawbridge or anything else around your castle, like a moat or trees or um, a road, a village, really um, just use your imagination. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more uh, building tutorials like this one. And we'd love to see what you build. So if you want to share those on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, using the hashtag KeeblePlanks, we'd love to see what you build. Thanks again so much for joining me. And I hope you come along next time for another Kiva building tutorial.